of the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, or NASCAR, was formed in the United States more than 60 years ago. It is the most popular racing circuit in the country, but for many years, the family-owned racing series has not involved many minorities. Now, NASCAR is making efforts to remedy that situation with the creation of a diversity outreach program. Asia Potit has more. Auto racing, one of the most popular and dangerous sports in the world. It's no easy task getting into this expensive and competitive sport, but the NASCAR diversity program is making it a little easier for a few. I think NASCAR understands that the population of the U.S. has changed and continues to change, and we want to make sure that we are at the forefront of educating fans and consumers about the sport. NASCAR recently teamed up with Hampton University Scripps Howard School of Journalism and Communications as well as the Sports Management Department to conduct a sports combine. Our drivers get to work with some of the most talented instructors and coaches and drivers. Uh, we do media training, they do physical training, they see a sports psychologist. So there's a lot that they learn both on the track and off the track and it's just an overall athlete development program. On day one, the drivers were physically evaluated. The tests were scored based upon each candidate's level of fitness. I was a little surprised that we had to start a little heavy on the weight. Uh, kind of threw me off. Strength conditioning and cardiovascular fitness benefits the driver by enabling them to last the entire race and the entire season. The uh, testing that we do is called um, neuropsychological testing. And, and, and what it's about is if they have a concussion, we can actually go back and take a look at how they performed with various simple tests as far as short-term memory. On day two, the drivers were introduced to the cameras and lights in the world of media, along with student reporters and a mock press conference. The candidates touched up on their media savviness while journalism students honed their craft. The last day of the combine was all about the driving at Langley Speedway. The participants waited anxiously for their chance to burn some rubber. Did a couple laps today. It was pretty good. NASCAR driver Bill Lester is the first African American to win the Grand Am Series. He was on site as a part of the selection team to determine which candidates move on and which go home. It's not easy to be a driver at the top level. It requires a lot of commitment, a lot of sacrifice, and a lot of dedication. But no matter the circumstances, these racers are determined to succeed. You can make it in racing because just because you're a girl doesn't mean that you can't make it in this male-dominated sport. Even training is hazardous. One false move could be the end. Some candidates will move on to the next level, and others must gain more experience to try again. I think that diversity in NASCAR is huge because the sport is changing and the world is changing and NASCAR needs to stay, step up and keep on top of that stuff so we can bring more people in, in and involve everybody because there isn't any sport that is just for one race or one type of person. Anybody can do anything. That was a report by Asia Poteet, a journalism student at Hampton University in Hampton, Virginia.